Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Um, first of all, apologies for my absence yesterday. I was with the family. Uh, most importantly, I was uh, with Tess. Those of you who don't know, she's a staffie who was living here. Uh, she spent about 18 months here with us um, a few years ago when I first started this channel actually. She's very happy where she is, living uh, very close to a lovely beach, very spoilt, uh, very happy. So uh, just reporting back about Tess. And uh, so that's me in my life. Um, as far as the royals go, Uncle Gary is out of the Big Brother house. Sighs of relief all around. I don't think much harm done there, thank goodness. And Prince Edward is turning 60 tomorrow I'll do a little reading on him in the next one today but for now I'm going to be looking at the story that Meghan Markle is trying to relaunch herself in the UK yes I know she was at that South by Southwest thing and so was Marcus Anderson interestingly we'll have a look at that again at some stage too but for now we're looking at this reboot of Meghan Markle in the UK I have seen this consistently in readings I've done no matter how hostile the royals are to any um, attempt by the Parkles to reinsert themselves into royal life in the UK, no matter how bluntly Prince William says absolutely not and refuses to have anything to do with them, uh, on and on it goes, this relentless um, narrative that they are on their way back to the UK. And in this story... Uh, we, we hear that according to the Parkles, the royal family is looking short-staffed and elderly. And so it's an opportunity for the Parkles to step in. And of course, she's done the Mayhu thing recently. She did a little bit with that um, Smart Works charity a while back, as far as I can recall. The Invictus Games is trying to um, get itself hosted by Birmingham, I think in 2027, six or seven, and uh, Birmingham City Council is broke. But never mind that, the Parkles are really seeming to focus themselves very firmly on the UK, having messed up completely in the United States. And according to the story that I'm looking at, uh, Megan has reached out to UK PR gurus for help. Uh, the story says that most of them won't touch her brand. Uh, it's given quite a rude analogy of how they won't touch that brand, but we won't upset you here with obscenities, basically. And um, so most senior PR people won't touch her, uh, mostly not because of how toxic her brand is, mostly because she doesn't listen to advice. So that's interesting. Neil Sean says that she's asking for freebies, basically, from PR uh, people pitch your ideas to me and then I'll pinch your ideas from you and won't pay you for them. That was his spin on the whole thing, his take on the whole story. So that's according to him. The story continues that she has actually signed someone up and that maybe this has got something to do with her attempt to become a lifestyle influencer like Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Martha Stewart, the rest of it, that she's got a big launch, a brand thing coming and this is why the PR person is needed. We don't know. We have the Wandering Star Tarot on the tarot table. I'm going to do a Celtic Cross with this tarot deck and see what's going on with this quest for your PR person. She allegedly has got one. As I say, Neil Sean says, no, it's freebies for now. Uh, we don't know, but uh, so why, from her point of view, what's she up to with this? Um, attempting to persuade the British public that she's a darling. Uh, buy the whatever she's selling or slide back into the royal family. What's this all about? That's what we're heading, uh, we, we're reading on today with the Wandering Star Tarot. We certainly have a bit of a failed star who does like to wander and um, seems to be relentless in her desire to, to push herself in front of everyone else regardless of whether there is actually an appetite for anything that she is selling or representing. It's quite amazing 
in my opinion and let's remind you as we get to the end of the shuffling that this is just my opinion and it is of course just tarot for fun and entertainment it's just energy that i read here sorry i haven't to warm these cards up i haven't used them for a while they are now warm we're good to go and as i say just energy reading here and disclaimer in the box below let's see what she's up to what she's hoping for and how it will go for her uh, it as i say very thick skinned in my opinion to believe that after everything that has happened the british public will have any appetite for anything uh, to do with Meghan Markle it really is in my opinion quite mind-boggling there we go maybe she's desperate don't know king of cups uh, that's interesting because that is of course the king and it is also Prince William both kings of cups water sign men it's also could be a PR person senior PR person kings are very senior obviously energetically this is somebody who's out to spin a narrative out to make her look relatable likable somebody whose brand you want to buy basically and so lots going on with this king of cups that's the PR person it's also I think an attempt to persuade the king and possibly even Prince William that she's just lovely she's generous she's kind people adore her she's so gentle and uh, so sweet and all she wants to do is serve and that's why we've seen her with the Mayhew thing and the smart works and whatever else south by southwest ridiculousness lately in Texas but there it is very um, high profile operation underway to make her look relatable even to the royals so let's see the situation from her point of view we've got the two of pentacles she's trying to balance a situation create harmony in a situation where she obviously has created a lot of disruption in the past and um, that would be her relationship with the British public she's trying to even that out restore it to some sort of balance and her relationship also with the royals but what is interesting for me in particular as a tarot reader with that two of pentacles is it's my merching card see what I have to sell you look at my wares and the two of pentacles come and get it and so this is telling me as a tarot reader that she has something to sell and she's hoping she can persuade the British public to buy it I'm fascinated to know what in particular she's going to be trying to sell everyone um, in her new lifestyle incarnation what's the problem sorry about the shafts of sunlight on the tarot table to try and close the blinds before the knight of swords in reverse a lot of criticism a lot of very harsh um uh, a criticism and the harsh criticism would be for instance this article that I was quoting from where if she was told in no uncertain terms that senior PR people would have nothing to do with her and uh, was quite crudely put as well that would be the knight of swords he doesn't uh, mince his words is quite a swift uh, clap back of no don't want anything to do with you don't like you not interested that kind of a vibe nice of swords in reverse so I think that she has been told no in no uncertain terms in quite rude terms uh, given that knight of swords in reverse so what is the reason for this what's her motive for doing this I've already got the two of pentacles on the table what's going on oh nine of swords she's not a happy woman uh, what a surprise um, you can tell that just by her demeanor if you read energy and uh, if you're intuitive nine of swords is somebody who's very worried about their brand about their future about their finances their marriage could be all kinds of things even though has been was dragged along by marcus anderson to sit in the front row of that ridiculous event at south by southwest um, she's got lots to worry about uh, things not going well in her world at all with that card in the hidden place in the Celtic cross the place that's really in your subconscious 
the things that drive you, the fears, the nightmares in this case with the Nine of Swords. So this is somebody who's running out of options, in my opinion, in the United States and is scrambling frantically to reinsert herself into the British family and into uh, British public life while uh, there's still someone who might be slightly amenable to the return of the park Parkles in the form of King Charles. And don't worry, I have read on him a thousand times. I'm exaggerating somewhat. Uh, he, he doesn't want her back. He, he might want Harry back. He doesn't want her back. Not from what I'm getting. Let's see her goal. What does she want to accomplish? Ace of Swords. This is control the narrative kind of thing. It's a declaration of intent, the Ace of Swords. This is what I am now going to do. And if I decide that this is so, and if I declare that it is so, then it is so. That seems to be the way her mind works. That seems to be the way she has been raised. The Perhaps the environment she was brought up in, the sort of belief system that she was brought up in. If you uh, imagine something, then it will come to pass. And yes, I subscribe to that school of thought too, to some extent. But I do believe that your intentions have to be pure in order to do that. And I also believe that you should not be um, setting out to possibly harm other people. And in my personal opinion, she has quite intentionally set her out to harm people in her rise to the top of the greasy pole. That is my opinion of her as a public personality. So... Uh, fresh start, declaration of intent with this hunting for a new PR person for herself. And uh, what's been going on that has led to this um, need for a new PR person? We've got the Six of Cups in reverse. This is the fallout in the royal family. It's reconciliation, upright harmony, childhood, happy memories, all of that stuff. Old friends, it's in reverse. She has fallen out and Harry has fallen out with family, with friends. Um, they have caused massive amounts of disruption in the royal family and also in British public life. They've caused a, uh, a lot of divide in um, the public discourse, the whole racism thing. Um, she really came in like a bit of a wrecking ball and uh, caused a lot of damage. As I keep saying in this reading, it seems to be a consistent theme that's coming through for me as an energy reader. Six of Cups in reverse. The attempt at reconciliation, Harry's mad dash to the UK, when that tremendous opportunity for the Parkles opened up with everyone falling violently ill. I'm being a little bit snarky, hope you can realize that. Uh, it didn't work out. Prince William would have absolutely nothing to do with him. He got 12 minutes with the king, according to rumours. And then the king was very visibly off in a helicopter to Sandringham. And Harry was very visibly not invited and sent off to a hotel without the police escort. So big flop in terms of reconciling and smoothing over past insults and past upsets. What is going to come of this in the near future? How is this going to unfold? Next steps, what is going to happen? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's not going to go very well. That is for sure. The Eight of Cups upright, somebody walking away from something that's very painful, caused a lot of sorrow, moving on from it in the reverse, stuck in that situation. This is not going to be easy to turn around. That is for sure. Eights are action cards, just by the way, in the tarot. And this tells me that this is um, not going to move. The energy is not going to shift in the near term anyway. What a surprise. I would never have expected that it's going to be difficult to get her out of this mess that she, in my opinion, has created all by herself. Well, with a little help from a has-been. Um, how about taking advice? I repurpose these Celtic crosses uh, very often on this channel, as you may have worked out by now. Uh, this one, I want to know, this card down here, I want to know how amenable is she to advice at this point? Will she listen to anyone? Eight of Wands <laughs> in reverse. No. Card that's uh, showing up, uh, it's a bit of a, a pattern at the moment, the Eight of Wands in reverse. And uh, it's travel 
uh, it's messaging its PR basically. Uh, the uh, person who designed this tarot deck, I'm sure, didn't realise it was going to be used in this kind of context. But that's it, what the Eight of Wands is in these rural readings. It's PR, sending the message out, and it's communicating basically as well. It's unblocking, it's flowing forward. In the reverse, the message is not going to reach its target. So, in the context of this question, she is not going to hear what they are telling her. She is not able to receive the message. It's like her ears are blocked and she's la 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 la. I'm not listening. I know best. You will do what I tell you. This is why I'm more inclined to believe Neil Sean than the story that she's actually hired some high up PR person and it's all system to go. I'm more inclined to think that she's getting freebies from people. This is my personal opinion. And we're quoting what he has said, allegedly, according to him, that uh, little uh, scenarios are being put in front of her, a little proposal. I don't know, there was a term that he used. And then, mm, like that one, don't like that one. And then three months later, as Neil Sean said, suddenly there you see the person doing the thing that you advised them to do. And they said, no, thank you, go away. That's all sitting there for me energetically in that eight of wands in reverse. Can't listen. Uh, it's just... Uh, intent on doing things her own way. So what pressure is she under? We've seen pressure in this reading already with that Nine of Swords, got the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, things going very slowly. She needs to get back on track with her goals, with her finances, with her, um, it says prosperity, benefits, investments, yeah, uh, with, with her journey towards that vast wealth that she thought she was going to uh, be, be sure of when she mixited. And uh, because people were so unkind to her while she was pregnant, allegedly, and she couldn't deal with it and she had to flee, um, according to what she was saying at this panel disc event uh, on Women's Day. So Knight of Pentacles... Um, is also Prince Harry, of course, the Earth sign prince. And uh, he is a bit slow. The Knight of Pentacles does move rather slowly, even when it's on the slow, solid journey towards tremendous wealth. She needs to get back on track. And uh, that is the pressure that she's under. She needs to get him back on track as well. He's part of this. This isn't only about Megan. And the reason that I say this is because of that six of cups in reverse in the past energy position. And that is the falling out, both of them falling out with the royals, with their friends to the extent that they're not invited to the Duke of Westminster's wedding. I think it's in June. Uh, that they're just undesirable at the moment all around the block and all around the world, in fact, as well. So she's got a work cut out quite literally there with that Knight of Pentacles. Her hopes and fears with this Five of Wands is the competition card. She wants to dominate. She wants to rise up that greasy pole again. She wants to reinsert herself in a situation where she senses that there's vulnerability, that there's an opportunity, that there is a vacuum. The Five of Wands is very much about jockeying for position. And she sees this because she is predatory, in my opinion. She's like a shark. There's blood in the water. The sharks are appearing for a snack, a tasty snack. And um, so any royals who are perceived as wounded, as uh, unable to defend themselves are fair game as far as this energy goes in the five of wands and as far as I can tell as an energy reader it's a very unpleasant energy coming from that five of wands I have to tell you and um, I live in a country where there's uh, still a lot of wild uh, where you can go on game drives and stuff like that. And personally, because I'm a highly sensitive person, I can't do it. I don't want to see animals eating each other. Basically, it's telling me in that Five of Wands that that is pretty much what is uh, in the energy that is being conveyed in the story about the opportunities, the royal family looking short-staffed and elderly. Doesn't that sound predatory? So, 
Uh, how will this go? This uh, PR push to relaunch herself in the UK to sell whatever wares she has to sell. Is it going to work? Ten of cups in reverse. Hallelujah. It is not going to work. And for her, look, there she is with the two tinies, the little ones. Uh... The prince and princess, there she is, trying to manifest herself back into the royal family with the prince and the princess of Sussex. Not going to happen. Ten of cups in reverse. Ten of cups upright, happy ever after. Back in the family, back in the royal family, in the reverse. No, this attempt to manifest this is going to fail. We move from the eight of cups in the reverse in the near future to the ten of cups it escalates it's going to be a mess and then it's going to be a realization possibly i don't know if she's capable of the realization but i think for everyone else including the pr person if there is such a person an actual person um then that the moment is going to come finally when no can't make fetch happen you're going to have to let go of this idea that you're ever going to be welcomed back either into the royal family or into the arms of the british public so there you have it interesting little reading and uh note the energy there just to round it off so i think snap that's your reading and thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one